Hey guys, welcome back to Marvelous Dads. I'm Dave Mendonca. Um, coming off a cold, actually have a cold right now. My kid gave it to me, but I had to jump on here because of this Wolverine Deadpool news. I had to share it with the world. Um, so I'm talking a little bit quietly because my kid is in the other room sleeping. So I can't really get super exuberant, even though I really want to get super exuberant. All right. So I'm super excited. So this is amazing news. Wolverine is back. First time in the MCU. And he's with Deadpool. And as you know, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds have had this funny feud going on ever since their time on the original Wolverine when Ryan Reynolds did that really lame version of Deadpool in that movie. So my initial thoughts about this um, about this news, it, it's freaking amazing. Um, I'm really happy to see Wolverine back. I loved the way that it was introduced, uh, that teaser with uh, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds uh, sitting on the couch. And he's got this montage going, this inspirational montage when he's being reflective about his journey to writing or creating Deadpool 3. It's pretty funny. And then all of a sudden he's on the couch and he's like, I got nothing. You know, all this reflection and stuff like that, nothing. So that was pretty funny. And then all of a sudden, Hugh Jackman, out of nowhere, just walks across the living room, heads upstairs, and Ryan Reynolds nonchalantly says, hey, Hugh, would you like to play Wolverine one more time? And very nonchalantly, freaking Hugh Jackman's like, yeah, sure, Ryan. Boom, boom, boom. Freaking amazing. So I was stoked. When I saw that, I loved the, the little eyebrow thing Ryan Reynolds gave at the end of that teaser. So amazing. We find out that the movie will be coming out September 6th, I believe, 2024. I love the new logo. You got the Deadpool logo with the three claw prints, you know, raking across. Perfect. All right. So it's outstanding news. We didn't know if Wolverine would return uh, to the screen or even be in the MCU at all. But he is. So this is fantastic. In that teaser video, Ryan Reynolds was like uh, explaining. Actually, you know what? It was a different video answering questions. So the the separate video with him and Hugh Jackman, Reynolds is answering questions or trying to fill in the viewers about, you know, some of the questions like, you know, how is Wolverine alive and stuff like that. He talks about, you know, Logan being a separate thing, how he died in uh, the movie Logan and how it's a separate thing. Then all of a sudden, as they as Ryan <laughs> tries to explain the, the whole plot of the new movie, you know, obviously it's, you know, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go pops up, the music, and it's all over, you know, what Ryan and and Hugh are talking about. And those guys are really, you know, like really expressive. And you see one part where Hugh gets his claws and rakes him into Ryan's head and stuff like that. Anyway, obviously they don't want to reveal the story to Deadpool, Deadpool 3. All right. So it's just great. It's great seeing Hugh Jackman back. Now, is Ryan Ryan telling the truth that Wolverine will only be back one more time as Hugh Jackman and Hugh Jackman as Wolverine? That's what he said in that um, in that uh, teaser. You know, would you like to play him one more time? So I don't know if that means he will play it one more time in the MCU or well, it'd be his first time in the MCU. So that would be that would be an interesting development to see if Hugh Jackman as Wolverine will be more than one time. Who knows? Anyway, it just sounds like to me as of right now, it's just one more time. All right. So let's talk about how the heck can Wolverine be back? How can he be alive? Obviously, uh, in the MCU, we have the we have this multiverse saga. So an easy way to do it is to make him a variant, right? So at the end of Deadpool 2, if you recall, Deadpool had that the time travel device, which he used to do many amazing things, in, including killing him like, a, like his like human self at one point because of the Green Lantern decision he made back in the day. And he may, anyway, he, he used the time device to repair some things and it was pretty funny. So maybe he uses that time device to, I don't know, go back in time to to meet somebody related to Wolverine? I don't know. Um, but definitely, I see time travel 
being a way for Wolverine to come back. I've read that Wolverine could be a scroll and maybe that's the way Hugh gets his in where a scroll, uh, you know, hears about Wolverine and thinks like, you know what, here's my in to get someplace to like the X-Men or who knows Avengers. I don't know. But so those are, those are possible ways to get Hugh Jackman as Wolverine back. Um, to me, the easy ends time travel. It's variants for multiverse. I think that's the way, that's the way to go. But because I just don't see a Logan being being resurrected after the events of Logan. I just don't see that happening. So it's got to be multiverse time, variant time. Mr. Wolverine. Now, will Wolverine, will he wear his classic yellow costume? Don't know. That would be insane if he did. So these are some questions, but September 6, 2024, Deadpool, Wolverine, this is what we've been waiting for. And, you know, Hugh Jackman in the MCU, uh, Ryan Reynolds in the MCU, I am super pumped. I wish I could like scream right now, but I can't because my kid is over there. He is just past this wall in his crib. So I don't want to really yell or anything, but... I was like, you know what? F this cold, man. You know, I, I wanted to get get on the mic and I had to express my thoughts. I, I love this. This is great. I, I would like to see more of Hugh Jackman, like as Wolverine, more than one, you know, one go. But I understand you can't do it. You want to get somebody younger for the role. That's fine. But this is something to look forward to. And I know that Marvel, MCU, um, Marvel Studios, they've, you know, had a lot of criticism about their phase four. And and I know this is obviously Deadpool is not part of phase four, but um, hopefully, you know, um, Deadpool three will be a, a movie that will, you know, help, I guess, uh, Marvel Studios regain that quality that people have been saying that has been lacking in phase four because people have been saying, you know, Kevin Feige's stretched too thin. He's not able to like get that quality control and all the pro uh, all the projects projects so you know let's see what happens but um right here and now super excited about this news i had to jump on you know I don't, I don't care if i have a cold you know some sniffles and a little sore throat and like cough i, I just had to talk man i just you know i love my kid love my wife but they don't really care about wolverine being being in deadpool 3 so <laughs> I had to, I had to say something. I had to come on here. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for listening. Let's see what happens with Deadpool three Wolverine. Super excited. Um, it's great to see Hugh Jackman, um, joining forces with Ryan Reynolds again. Let, let's see what happens. All right. All right. So feel free to share the video, sub subscribe to the channel as always. Take care. See you later.